Hello everybody and welcome to episode 51 of Estate Planning TV. I'm your host, Christopher Small, and this is the internet's most passionate show about estate planning. Thank you for being here. It's a wonderful day again. I've got a summer cold actually, so hopefully you can hear me okay. My voice is probably going to be cracking a little bit, but hey, duty calls. You need the information. I want to give it to you, so we're going to hit the record button and uh, we're going to do this. So this is sort of the, probably the first video in a series of videos that I'm going to do about reasons why people might want to have a revocable living trust. I was doing a will signing or I was doing a will and a trust signing yesterday with some clients and, and um, one of them asked me, you know what, you know, I know why we're doing this trust, but um, what are some other reasons that people would do a trust? I thought, you know what, that is a great question because a lot of people know or believe that they need a trust, uh, but they may not sure, be sure why. If you're in California, we're going to get to some of those reasons later. Today, though, we're going to talk about a topic that um, will be relevant to some of you and not relevant to some of you at all, period. It's sort of a, a yes or no thing. And the, uh, the, one of the reasons why you may want to have a revocable living trust is because you love your children. And when I say love, I don't merely mean just like, um, you know, you don't want them to die. What I mean is you want the best for them. You want to give them the optimal optimal opportunity for success. You want to uh, provide them opportunity in the future even if you're not here. That's what a revocable living trust can do. Um, a lot of people don't realize this, but if you don't have a trust, let's say you just have a will, you've done your your duty to get your estate plan done, you've got a, a power of attorney, medical power of attorney, healthcare directive, and a will. What most people don't realize is if something happens to you, if something happens to you and your spouse, um, and your kids are under 18 or over 18 or whatever age they are, then all the will does is direct the money specifically to specific people. So if your kids are under 18, when they turn 18 or 21, potentially, they will just get a check for the balance of their share of your estate. If they are over 18, they will just get a check for their share of the estate. And this often is not a good thing. We don't deal well with found money. We don't spend it well. We don't invest it well. Um, we are often not mature enough to recognize when other people are trying to take advantage of us, whether in the form of of new friends or new business opportunities, it doesn't matter. So what a revocable living trust can do is set some parameters for um, use of the assets for the kids and also put in place someone that can be sort of a gatekeeper, someone that can be sort of a, a, help, a helpful, you know, intelligent um, ear to, to help ensure that this money is used for good and not for evil. That's the way I describe it. Another way I say it is, you know, let's say when your kids wants to go to college or they need a car, um, the trust will ensure that they get a Jeep and not a Ferrari. And for me, when it comes to my own kids, when I when I created my trust, you know, the number one goal for me is really to provide ample opportunity for them to be able to pursue sort of their passions, become their best selves, without money getting the in the way, um, without also creating sort of spoiled brats, right? So. That's the reason why this video is titled, um, if you love your children, you'll get a trust. Because it's really one of the ways to ensure that they have the best chance to, to lead sort of a successful, productive, fulfilling life. And for me, you know, um, these definitions of these words that I just told you are gonna be different for everyone. You know, for me, successful, fulfilling, productive, doesn't necessarily mean that they're rich, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're that they're, you know, whatever you want to fill in the blank with that is. Um, but I want to give them the opportunity to be the, their best selves, to be able to, to create uh, a, a wonderful life for my grandkids, and my great grandkids, and my great great grandkids, and, and on down the line, and be able to create a place for them to really um, sort of blossom and succeed. So that is one of the main things that a trust can do. That's one of the main reasons why a lot of people come to me. For help is because they have younger kids or they have enough assets where for them personally they wouldn't just want to hand them over to someone and just have them spent so 
If this sounds like you, you may be in line for a trust. If you need some help or you want some help, uh, feel free to call 206-659-1512. If you think I'm an idiot, you can call, you can email me, chris at cmslawfirm.com. You can leave a comment below. You can do whatever you want. If you like what I have to say too, you can do the same thing. All right, so um, if you need help, I would love to help you. If you don't need help, that's okay. I hope this was informative. And we'll be back next week with um, another reason that you might want to have a revocable living trust. Until then, see ya.